everybody, how's it going? My name is Billy. Thanks for checking out the channel. Today we are unboxing the May 2018 Bandbox. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Bandbox is a nerdy, geeky subscription box. There's always an autograph in there. There's prop replicas, a pen, and a print. That's kind of what they've been doing anyway the past few months. Um, and I think they're kind of switching to a one uh, prop replica thing now. So there's really only four items at this point. It's kind of getting really annoying. Um, but anyway, we have our May 2018 BAM box, so let's get in there and check it out. Let's see what we got this month. I know that there is a Deadpool 2 autograph. They've been teasing that all month. I have predictions. I think it's either Negasonic, Negasonic Teenage Warhead or Colossus. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be what it is. Um, mostly because they put one, they put a spoiler out a couple weeks ago that had everybody's ex faces X'd out that weren't it. And the only other person that would conceivably possibly be it was the Domino character. If it's Domino, that's cool. And Bambox, you've redeemed yourself. But I'm almost 100% sure it's going to be one of the other two. Paper! All right. Find our pen. All right, our pen this month is a G.I. Joe pen. This is Destro. It's kind of unfortunate that it's card is bent, but really it's the pen that matters, not the card. Uh, this is a 1 in 250, so this is a 1-up, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to have a 1-up card in there. There's supposed to be a number on these. Let me choose. Let me see. 68 of 250. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. I harp on Bandbox a lot for the face pens, uh, just character pens, but I'm not going to ding them too much on this because it's cartoon. Um, it's not a live action person that they've put into a pen. It's a cartoon character that they've put on a pen. And I like that. I'm actually kind of for this. I really, really kind of dig it. Good job, Bandbox. All right, we got a thing. We have a shiny metal casino coin thing. Uh, it says Lucky 38 on this side. And it says 200 on the house on this side. I have no idea what this is, but it's really well made. I don't know. It's got one little sharp edge right here, but every, other than that, it's really well made. It's really nice. Uh, it's heavy, which is good. Um, usually heavy equates to value. I don't know. I, I just have no idea what it is. <laughs> That's the problem with some of the prop replicas. I have no idea what they are. I, I watched a lot of the videos from a couple months ago, and nobody knew what that little white thing from Star Wars was, the data drive. But yeah, they're, they're, we've, I feel like there's been a lot lately where you just don't know what they are until you see the spoiler card. So... Yeah, they might be high quality, but what are they? I got a one-up card. I'm assuming that's for the pen. All right, just the one prop again. Oh yeah, I forgot. They're doing the Avengers uh, prints still. Uh, so here's our last Avengers print, print number three. And like I was expecting, it's all of the characters that we haven't seen yet on the other prints. The other ones were um, the first Avengers movie and uh, then... Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. Kind of spoilery. Um, yeah, this is okay. I mean, the other ones have been fine, too, and I've been okay with them. I don't love them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but uh, it's, it's okay. I, I'm glad that this is the last of the three-part series. Uh, can we please stop it with Logan Pack for a little bit? Can I get some other artist now, please? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. The autograph is... It could be anybody. What? <laughs> uh, Stefan Kapechitz, who is... I, I definitely murdered that name. Uh, who is Colossus. All right, I pulled my other Colossus autograph in anticipation of this because I wanted to compare them. This is the one from Bandbox. Um, honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell who this is. I do not like this one. And it's also not a great print quality either. It's kind of fuzzy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of this one. The Colossus autograph I got from Autograph of the Month is this one. And I think it's way better. Uh, it's definitely who it is. Uh, the signatures are pretty close. Obviously, he shortened his signature, so he's just using this part of it now um, on the BAM one. Um, I'm not a fan of this, honestly. Um, I like the, I like it as a print. I'll say that I like it as a print. I wish it was clearer. It's definitely not very clear. Yeah, just him autographing this. I wouldn't be able to tell who that is without this card. All right, and that is it for our May 2018 Bandbox. Let's go back through this thing. All right, 
We have our Colossus autograph right there. These are the other autographs you could have gotten for Colossus. Uh, both of them way better than the one that I received. So still going to be real salty about that. Fallout New Vegas uh, Platinum Chip by Dark Matter Props. The Platinum Chip is a quest item in Fallout New Vegas. This replica is an incredible Platinum Shine with a great display piece for any fan of the game. I don't play video games. <laughs> I actually don't know why there's a prop replica for a video game. That's real strange. Avengers Infinity War Logan Pack art print. It is the last of three of three. Uh, luckily, at least I didn't get any of the black and white variants. You have a black and white variant option there. So luckily I only got the color ones, so that I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. I didn't have to trade for any. Uh, lastly, we have our G.I. Joe uh, fan pin. Uh, we got Destro. It's the 250 edition. Here are the other three you could get. Uh, Snake Eyes, Destro, and Lady Scarlet. Uh, Destro is definitely, in my opinion, the better of the three that you could get. So I like them all, though. I think they're all pretty cool. Pin is definitely my favorite item from this month. Uh, I'm not happy with this band box. I, I'm, I'm kind of... It, I, I've defended band box a lot, and uh, I, I have seen a lot of people get really frustrated with them, and I'm starting to get really frustrated, too. Um, the four items thing is really killing me. Um, the fact that I'm putting so much money into it and I'm only getting four things, really I'm, I'm kind of paying, you know, almost eight to ten dollars per item, and, and that's, that's a high markup for some of these things. Especially since, like, on the, the art print, Logan Pack, I only know him from the band box. I don't know him as a known artist outside of the band box. Um, yes, the autograph does add to it and adds to the value. Um, and it is definitely an autograph that you would probably spend 25 to $30 getting at a con. But, um, an autograph I already have. <laughs> and I know that that's very specific to me. But, I will say, they are putting out high quality prop replicas. And the pin this month is really great. Um, but overall, I, I'm just not a fan of this box. I don't know what the prop replica is from. I'm really done with these Avengers prints. I already have the autograph. I'm just not into it. So that is it for the May 2018 band box. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the box, what's something else you would have liked to have seen from the other, from the franchises that are in here. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a conversation about it. As always, please like and subscribe and share the videos and, and all that awesome stuff that you fantastic people keep doing for me. And I really, really greatly appreciate it every single time. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, that's it for me. And uh, until next time.